Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central and the Storm Rising event that just hit. We're gonna press the What's New button and check out some skins first really quickly and then we're gonna get straight to the event a little bit different than we how we usually do it. So, we got Circus, we've seen this one, this is a Junkrat skin, we got the gun right here. Looking pretty good. High Roller, uh, we got of course, of course Hammond with his very swanky skin and well you can see the guns right there. Uh, Tsaria, Racer with the, this gun, oh it's a golden one for me but either way. We got, of course, Bob. Oh my god, Bob in a suit looks fantastic. Uh, but yeah, this Ash skin looks, uh, looks amazing. It looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, Talon. Uh, this is, of course, Baptiste in his Talon skin. And we got the gun looking pretty cool, actually. I like the gun a lot. But yeah, I like that skin quite a bit. And, of course, the Ham uh, Hammond. Sorry, <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, Bastion skin. This one looks just nuts, especially the gun. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, this, I think that was revealed pretty recently. Uh, we got, of course, the McCree deadlock skin. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Let's go back there. Uh, yeah, this is uh, also a pretty good one, but it was revealed a few days ago. Moira, I think this was maybe the first one even revealed. Not quite sure, but either way, was revealed pretty early on. Actually, maybe the second one. Uh, Formal 76, of course, Soldier 76, looking pretty good here. Here's the gun as well. And other than that, we have Victor Poses. We have Data Cube, Sombra. That's a pretty sick one. Surveillance. This is a widow one, of course. Meditation, Zen, like that one. And uh, we're gonna skip the voice lines for this one, but we're gonna go straight to the bottom for the highlight entrance. Here's the Doomfist one. Nice, I like it, I like it. I like the highlight entrance, they have a lot of different like sort of camera angles going on. Storm arrows. I just kind of get a little bit of PTSD from that sound, honestly. <laughs> I can't really enjoy the Storm Arrow sound at all, but yeah. Pretty cool highlight in regardless. Oh my god, the Hammond one is amazing! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, this is another era of YouTube right here. Alright, uh, well, you, some of you might know that video, some of you might not. Anyway, I'm sure someone will link it in the comments. But yeah, that's all for the cosmetics we're covering here. <laughs> uh, Ryan is also here, though. What's up, Ryan? How you doing? I am. And, uh, Did you notice that the Hammond intro also had the right music as well? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I don't know how they managed to, to pull all that off. Was it called Dramatic? It must have been. Yeah, it was called Dramatic. Yeah, yeah, of course yeah. it was. Dramatic, yeah. All right. The main question we're here to answer, I suppose, is can we drive a motorbike as Tracer? Yeah, exactly, right? It's on the main menu and everything. We're gonna check the, uh, my loot box as well real quick. Okay, uh, for once I did not get very lucky with this one, but that's okay. I got three <laughs> archives voice lines. All right, fantastic. <laughs> that's a rough one. Perfect. Okay, uh, right, let's play. Uh, let's go arcade. And uh, let's, uh, well, arcade. And then uh, the mission archives. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is how they bladed it out this time. Right, it was a little bit different how it looked last time, I believe. But yeah, either way, uh, co-op story. I assume that's what we want to do. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I we guess get, so. We get a loot box On a relatively low difficulty, so we can experience what it actually is. As opposed yeah, to a team of four heroes stuck. heads to Havana to deal with a new threat. Genji Mercy, Tracer Winston, successfully complete all mission objectives. All right. Um, yeah, we're going. Um, do you want to go on normal or hard? Let's go normal. Let's okay, just go okay. like for, for the epic. video's sake, right? Okay, for the video's yes. sake. Yes. Yeah, that's totally why. Now, we have played the ones on Legendary, but uh, I think I completed... Actually, I don't know about Retribution. 2,000 anyway. likes oh, and we'll do the next event Yo. on like Legendary Cuts. straight away. Cuts it. let's be quiet. Get a lot harder if you reach 
reaches a safe house. Then let's make sure he doesn't. Winston. I'm on it. Remember, we need Maximilian alive. He's our only good lead on talent. <laughs> I'm not the one you should worry about. He won't get far on foot. Don't get cocky. That storm is getting close. And Maximilian is as resourceful as they get. I trust you. Just try not to blow up anything else. Ha! No promises. All right. Damn. That was pretty good. Well, I, I was surprised. I didn't realize that we were going to get like a full... Yeah. Like... Infinity War thing going on here, just like an actu actual lore, actual story. Yeah, what yeah, game what, is this? Was, that's, that was, wow, that was sure was something. I, I'm really impressed. All right, well, I guess I'm Genji. I haven't played this character in probably like three years, but hey, let's let's go for it. Oh, man. All right. Uh, yeah, I... Okay. We even got a look at Sojourn, so I can't wait for the next yeah. three months to talk about uh, her being the next hero. Yeah, right. Putting her face on literally every thumbnail. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Exactly. She's gonna be everywhere. Oh, I don't have an interact button to open the door, so I don't have disposable thumbs to open the door. Oh, okay. Oh, we're just straight into it. I mean, this is on the easiest difficulty, I guess, so this shouldn't be too difficult. But uh, yeah, we just we just want to get through this as quick as possible, so yeah, we can see the rest exactly. of the story. It's kind of forgot that there's actually a, that these are actually um, projectiles and not like hit scan on Genji. I like I, I just never played this character. Can I get up here? Ooh. Feels weird to look back at the guides that we did as if I was ever an expert on playing Widowmaker. Yeah, right. I mean, so this, much has changed. Yeah, a lot of things have changed. This must be the first Ooh, video that we've the, done uh, together in a while. It, it, well, well, when it comes to playing the game together, it's the first one in years, probably. <laughs> like, I don't think we've had a video playing the game together in a long, long time. This is really cool, though. This is that bit from... Um, this is that bit from... Uh, what's it called? Uh, like, that teaser. The first, one of the first teasers, you know? This is where yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don the Rom... 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 Stay on your toes. Amazing. We get a good glimpse of the new map. It's probably. Oh, I imagine this is going to be the payload route, right? This road that's going to cross. Maybe yeah, I'd imagine so. There. Look at the Capitol building as well. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, you pointed out in the video. Yeah. You're dead impressed. Yeah, sure so this is most likely going to be the third point where all the pro teams will switch to goats. Yeah. From this goats, yeah. probably. Uh, yeah, exactly. Something along those lines. I mean, this is... This is really cool. I really like this. Oh man, oh, it's been. Uh, oh, this one. Oh, I, um, I um, was gonna say like how. Uh, like wait, so oh, is this the payload path right here? Oh, we can even see it. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't like actually see it on the floor for, for a sec. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm really interested in seeing how this map will be as an actual map. Wait, have they actually confirmed, like, officially that it will be an actual map? No, but did they do that with Rialto? I'm pretty sure they did, but they announced it differently for Rialto. Yeah, they, they announced like, a very Oh, hey, Overwatch League. Yeah, they announced a very different league. Oh, it's one of those ninjas. Find us. One of those, uh, Genji wannabes, Genji cosplayers. Oh, the mate. Oh, shit. <laughs> I saw the red, I saw the red siren, like the red uh, rotating light or whatever, and I thought it was an enemy for a sec, because it's just something bright red on the wall. You know that animation that we saw at the start, showed off all the oh, new heroes, well, all, the heroes. all the heroes doing stuff, like Mercy flying across, Genji Coda. Imagine if on the all heroes mode, 
that the heroes that you picked are in that. So you have like Torbjorn with the sword cutting up cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bastion just flying Ooh. by like mercy. I picked that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would love to. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. The interesting thing, I guess, now is like. We're, we were meant to be expecting a development update from Jeff Kaplan, right? Maybe. And when people heard that it was the event, they were like, oh, they must be talking about the event then. But yeah, I yeah. just checked on YouTube beforehand, and oh, nothing's nice. come out from him talking, so maybe there's even more of Jeff Kaplan announcing stuff. Uh, Maybe that's where he'll say, like, oh, we're working on the map and stuff. Like, maybe that's kind of where they're yeah, planning more of that type of talk. I don't know, yeah. There'll be oh, a new PTR yeah. update soon, I reckon, as well, because this one's just finished with... Yeah. Uh, the Reaper Junkrat changes. I think they came in with this. I'm assuming so. Uh, oh, yeah, those changes. Yeah, maybe. Uh, sorry, if, I'm, if, I'm, <laughs> if I seem a little bit like... Sh I don't know, I'm just like speechless <laughs> from all of this. Like, it's just so weird. <laughs> I don't know, like... Yeah. We didn't do this last year. I don't think we played the event because... Oh, that because the some other YouTubers got to play it early, didn't they? They went to LA and they released videos early. Uh, I can't really remember. I mean, I remember playing it on Legendary and stuff, but uh, I don't remember playing it as a video, like right as the event came out. Uh, if that's what you're like. No, no, that's what I mean. Yeah. I don't remember that. Oh, this is this is really cool though. I imagine this gets very difficult. Yeah, I mean, I do like the whole Left 4 Dead vibe, though, that you get from these missions. Yeah, right? Oh, we can see Sergeant talking on top left, I didn't realize. Oh. Like when the... Do you see that? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the payload? Ooh. I'm pretty sure she's a picture from, like, the recall. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, I think she's, like, one of those early concept ones. They have a bunch of them in Gibraltar, so it's like, you know, oh, look at beta. this. Oh, yeah, this was exactly what I was talking about yesterday. I was talking to, I can't remember who it was actually. I was talking to someone yesterday about the dynamic weather stuff. And I was like, I think you're probably yeah. going to go inside and come out and then the weather's going to change. Ooh, I just got hit by something. Oh, over there. I'm going to blade. Whoa, I haven't used this ultimate in years. <laughs> oh, that's not a time to turn. Oh, I'm in the ship. Ooh. Kick me out. What do you think about... I don't, oh, like... Cool. It's been a while since Blizzard have announced new stuff, like a new IP. The last one was obviously Overwatch. Would you expect to see more Overwatch-related, like, separate games kind of, like, have done this to World of Warcraft almost? Mm, but more maybe TV-focused? That's a good question. I mean, I've, I've always thought a lot about, like, since the first uh, Arcade mission, I've always, I've always thought a lot about, like, how they can offer basically another experience for, like, an expansion or a um, just an, a separate standalone game. Mm. And I think it would make more sense to make it an expansion, right? But I'd, or, or, sorry, uh, to make it a separate game. Oh, oh! I think so. I don't think Overwatch should have, like, a, an expansion of DLC, really. Yeah, because but... it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Because it's kind of like for two different crowds as well. Mm -hmm. In a way. Like, I could totally see people who weren't that interested in Overwatch still, like, other... Oh, oh god! I, I forgot that that was the thing with the little fate of black on it. <laughs> on the assassin jumping on it. Yeah, I, I, I could totally see it hitting kind of two different audiences, a little bit at least. Because Overwatch, I think, caught a lot of people who were into shooters uh, to Blizzard, like, to, uh, mm -hmm. got them to Battle.net. But maybe uh, an Overwatch sort of small standalone, just a single player missions thing, can get the... Um, can get the sort of, you know, Blizzard lore fans that don't play Overwatch to buy that. I don't know, yeah. hard to say. Then again, they are just It'd putting just all like this a, in the game. It'd be like a PvE game. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. It could be multiplayer. You never know. Yeah. I mean, then again, Blizzard are also just, you know, putting this stuff in right now. <laughs> at no yeah. extra cost. Um... It's weird when you look at the whole, like, games as a service kind of market. And how Overwatch is kind of that, but... Oh, done right, shit. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Overwatch is a bit of a, a bit of a weird one when it comes to <clears throat> like the the way the updates are, you know, like mm -hmm. they, like how the how 
all the regular updates would kind of add seasonal content rather than permanent updates and such. Played again since it seems so easy to get it anyway. Uh, oh. oh, there's a sniper. Uh. Alright. I'm pretty sure our Messi's just bought a healing now. <laughs> With the pistol. I mean, it's all normal, you know. <laughs> it's fair enough. Alright. Oh! Yo, it's a big boy. Well, I guess I should have saved the blade for this, really. Okay. Yo, aggro him! <laughs> oh, man. An actual Overwatch raid would be cool. Yeah. Well, that's just kind of going into, like, Overwatch as a looter shooter territory, and I don't know how I feel oh, about God, that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Overwatch is... I, don't I reckon it could do though. a really good job, but... Yeah, I don't think Blizzard know, though, how they want, what they want to really do with Overwatch in the future, right? Like, I, I remember Jeff yeah. Kaplan talking about that. We've only looked the IP, but... Yeah, I just, you know, thinking of the thing that Jeff mentioned not too long ago in that podcast, where he said that he was working on his own design project with plans of Overwatch in, like, 2020 and 2021, that sort of stuff. Whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> I was stood on that. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Going somewhere, Matt. Is this really necessary? Surely we can make some kind of deal. You are in no position to negotiate. You're coming with us. Oh, we know all about you and your associates. Oh, I have many associates. Perhaps it's not clear what I have to offer. My resources are quite substantial. Let me ask, what might you be in the market for? An introduction. Ah, and who is it you would like to meet? Oh, my friend. The world doesn't understand visionaries like us. I respect what you are trying to accomplish. You fight for your kind. It's noble and doomed to fail. But with Talon's help, that can change. You have my attention. What are we experiencing? Are we done? What? Wait, what? Huh? I have so many questions. <laughs> what? Oh my god. That was amazing. I like... I like the fact that they're adding more characters in that aren't just, you know... Like, you get the voice lines of Junker Queen. It's like, oh, Junker Queen's going to be the new hero because they got a voice yeah. actress for it. more characters! Yes, please. you got Predator here. Omnic Predator. Yeah. I mean, the mission was, like, all right. I don't know what I was expecting at the end or a boss or whatever, but... I was pretty cool. Maybe they're doing serial things? I don't know. Like, that's cool, but it kind of leaves you going, okay, what's next? We want more. Yeah, I just want to play the next one now. <laughs> When's the next one? Oh, man, that's so good. I mean, oh, yeah. Well, I didn't expect, I, I expected, like, more focus on, like, the sort of, you know, making maybe some new boss of some sort, and then less focus on, like, the sort of cutscenes and lore, but it was mostly cutscenes and lore and kind of, like, you know, new characters being introduced. But the fact that we basically have three characters, like we have Maximilian, we have new Omnic Predator, and then we have, uh, I can't, I've already forgotten her Sojourn, name. Sojourn. Sojourn, it? that's it, yeah. Um, so that's three characters right there. That's quite a bit. All right, anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, do you got anything you want to <laughs> add? No, I just want to play more. Like I was expecting more of a crescendo at the end, but then again, because we were playing on medium, if you play it on hard or legendary, then that's where you might get a lot more enemies attacking you and stuff like that. So yeah, I guess I, I'm uh, just pretty good. Oh, I'm blown away. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. I guess goodbye.